Hey, this is Kerry Kelly from Alice Cooper, and you're watching MPJ. Rock on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Having a good time here in my palace. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for inviting us in. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you guys had a killer set earlier tonight. Oh, thank you. Um, and it's always fun to watch. And, um, over the years, you played with a bunch of different bands from like um, Splashes, Sneak Pit, to I mean, like Rat and things way before. And um, now that you're in with Alice Cooper, like obviously the music was going to be like the, the important thing and then all the theatrics that go behind it. Was it a little intimidating because Ellis has all those years of like catalogs and music that they play from? What was that? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, Alice has I mean, so many well, records out and so many great songs. I mean, it's, it's, it's really an undertaking to really figure out, especially we play like 30 songs in the set, but <clears throat> It, it, he tries to find a balance between having all the great songs and then having, you know, all the acts or the theatrics within there, the hanging or, or the, the guillotine and blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, it's you got to really figure out where all the songs fit in with the story. You know, Alice Cooper, it, it is a story <clears throat> during the live show. So, it's you know, Alice kind of does that, puts it together, and we do the set, and it's always awesome, in my opinion. I mean, it's... it's Alice is great, you know, a lot of great songs, a lot of great theatrics, show business, you know, it's entertainment business. Exactly. So you give the people a show, you give them the killing, you give them the stabbing, and you give them the great songs. So, you know, we all have a good time. Very cool. Okay. Um, I actually had a quote from, uh, it was a press release that Alice did from the Hellfest, that was, I think, last month, mm -hmm. um, and he was talking about you guys, the band, and he said, um, these guys are great, and tonight I'm throwing three songs at them that we haven't played in five years and I haven't told them yet. Is that like a typical Ellis thing, or did he end up doing that with you guys? And, or was it just like kind of a fun thing that he threw at you? Yeah, you very, guys? very untypical, to be honest with you. Usually everything is really uh, rehearsed or whatever because of the, the show aspect, you know, because the lights, it's very dramatic, so everybody knows they're on the same page, you know what I mean? Um, you know, other rock, regular rock bands that I played with or, or whoever, I mean, my great friend Skid Row or whoever, you could just go, let's change the set to that, let's play this song, let's play that song. With Alice, you always have lighting cues and various things going on, so it really, everybody needs to be on the same page. So yeah. when Alice goes, changes something out of the gate, it's like, whoa, what, what's going on? Wait, oh shit, this, you know. Yeah. So it is a curveball, but everybody's on the top of their game when that happens because you know you have to pay attention, something's coming, yeah. and it's different than what we're used to. So, right. you know, it's cool though. We can roll with the punches. <laughs> cool. The last um, Alice album, uh, Long King Spider, you actually did a couple of the songs on that. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's um, some talk that he's getting ready to do his next album, and he's actually got some songs written. Is that something that you're helping out with? or? Yeah, the last record, what we did was, <clears throat> it was kind of a, a weird process. I mean, we were on the road and, you know, I as well as the other guys were kind of writing songs in the hotel rooms and we playing for Alice. Go, oh, that's great. I like this or that. So we worked on those ideas <clears throat> and then some of them made it onto the record, you know, because what happened at first we were just writing songs, like various songs. And then he goes, oh, this, I have this concept, you know, spider thing, along came spider, taking the, you know, people and the victims and so then some of the songs didn't fit that mold, you know. Um, some of the songs did, some, some of them didn't. So we still had some songs left over and some of those songs now are coming into play on this new record as well as some new songs that we've been developing. And he's working with Bob Ezrin again. Um, so they're working on songs. You know, Bob Ezrin did all the early Alice stuff as well as Pink Floyd, The Wall, Kiss Destroyer, I mean, a lot of legendary records and stuff like that. So Bob's involved, which is a great thing in there. Uh, you know, we'll really see what happens, but it's Welcome to My Nightmare 2 is what they're doing. Um, and so is it a continue, 
continuation of like Stephen's journey, or is it something new? I don't know the exact, you know, premise of it to be honest with you, because he's working with Bob on it, and we're kind of like we're developing ideas, but it's kind of like going one step at a time. You know what I mean? I think they're kind of seeing where it's going to go. But it is, you know, a continuation of something, but I don't know if it's going to go down this road or up that road or... It's too early to yeah. see. Yeah. So, like I said, the same thing when we had the songs for Spider. Uh -huh. We were just writing songs in general, and then, then he came up with the concept. And he goes, well, that's a regular rock song. That ain't going to work. You know, you got to find the... You know, Alice likes to have a premise to the record. So right. A story. Yeah. We'll see. Very cool. Um, we actually caught you guys too in May when you guys did the Gruesome Twosome tour. Absolutely. Zombie, which was an amazing, amazing show between the two of you. I mean, it was like one right after another, like a little bit of a break in between the two mm -hmm. bands, but it was an awesome show. And there was rumors that you guys might actually get together to do another tour. Is mm -hmm. that anything that... Absolutely, yeah. Um, from what I was told, we're going to do <clears throat> another, that, that same tour, Gruesome Twosome. The, I believe it's the middle of September through October, so oh, we've got another six weeks or something like that with Rob, so it's going to be awesome. Very cool. Just great. in time for Halloween. Yeah, like oh, absolutely. Fun. Great guys. Who does great guys, and it's the same kind of a thing. I think really helps both of the bands out. You know, Rob's a newer school guy, and Alice older school, and kind of gets all the fans acquainted with each style. You know, older people for Alice like, wow, this Rob Zombie guy is kind of crazy. Yeah. You know, and then the Rob Zombie kids are going like, well, that's that Alice Cooper guy we've heard about, you know? Yeah. So it helps everybody out. Yeah, they definitely complement each yeah. other, the, the two sets. And what we need is... I mean, it's different, but it definitely complements each other. Yeah, what well. we need, I think, is uh, Rob, Kiss, Manson, and then Alice. We'll do that tour. That yeah. sounds like fun. Yeah, that, that'd work. be a great tour, you know? <laughs> we'll call it the, the ticket you can't afford. <laughs> Tour. It's like, okay, yeah, so uh, seats up at the top, they're uh, $450. Uh, seats down below, they're about $2,000. No. Uh, <laughs> they I think it'd be a great tour, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be a great show, i got to tell you the truth on that. <laughs> well, who knows, maybe down the road. Maybe, really, it's yeah. a festival somewhere, yeah. right? I think it'd be awesome, <laughs> cool. in my opinion. Uh, well, who knows, maybe. Well, I don't know. <laughs>